You are the 24 best young home cooks in the entire country. The MasterChef franchise took their concept to a whole new level, proving that culinary school and years of experience in restaurants are not necessarily required to be an excellent chef with an eye for impeccable detail. And thus, MasterChef Junior was launched and proved to the world that kids as young as nine years old have what it takes to be a true master chef just as much as any adult. Is everybody excited to be here? Yes, yeah, chef! The Introductions. I think of my palate as very sophisticated. On MasterChef Junior, each contestant's first introduction leaves a very powerful impression. In the 10 years that I've been here on Earth, I've never, ever done anything as exciting as this. It's easy to be in awe of how clear the contestants are about their dreams and goals at such a young age. When I grow up, I want to be a food critic. A lot of people get surprised how good a cook I am because of my age. Despite these kids being between 9 and 13 years old, they are already respectable and inspirational individuals. These children do not put up a front to hide what they are feeling. I need to get this trophy. It would go perfectly in my room. I love trophies. Ooh, I want it. I want it to be mine. It's wonderful to see their joy and excitement jump out on screen and feel it all along with them. Another refreshing and genuine moment comes from Jack, a candidate who we can tell is a little firecracker of personality right from the very beginning. Joe and Jack, you want to be partners with me? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Already, we can tell that we will truly enjoy watching as these kids learn, grow, and cook amazing dishes. Liking this video so far? Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. The Seafood Challenge. I tasted this before and it was great. Big head. Fresh seafood and young children do not usually mix very well. Their palates are generally not developed enough or ready for such strong flavors. So it was truly impressive to watch as the contestants tackled the first challenge with the taste and maturity that many adults have when eating seafood. When the judges first revealed all the different kinds of underwater creatures they had on ice, some of the kids kept a serious face and it was hard to tell what they were thinking. Look at that. The kids prepared creative and delectable gourmet dishes with the challenging ingredients. Some of which the judges had never tried before, like the unique cactus salad. You cook a lot of cactus? Yeah, and this is the cactus fruit. I love it. Others made complicated dishes that could have easily gone wrong, like the sushi and seared tuna from 12-year-old Rowan. Paper-thin cucumber, perfectly sliced avocado, and the sear beautifully even. Overall, the contestants made it really hard for both the judges and the audience to pick a favorite. I don't know if I could do this. The judges as mentors. You can do this. I know you can. Thank Let's you. go. It's not surprising that a lot of people were a little bit nervous when it was announced that Gordon Ramsay would be judging children on a cooking show. Don't start showing your fat mouth at me. Why are you putting Fish on a stand up straight and at least look like a cook. However, it is quickly established that the tone of judging in MasterChef Junior would be completely different than any other show. Lovely sear on the scallops, but because you cut them into three, they've gone slightly rubbery. Gordon even helps one of the contestants finish a challenge, teaching the kids not to give up even when things get hard. Let's get this going. We can do this, okay? We still got time. Even the kids that had to leave the competition after the first round of judging benefited from advice that they could take with them to better their skills. It's disappointing. But I'm proud of myself, very. Dara shares her food dream with Gordon. Hopefully, can you judge on Master Chef? Can you do a death stare? You got it. Okay, you start next year. Later, when she cries, no doubt overwhelmed with the pressure and excitement, Graham handles it very smoothly and with a lot of sensitivity. Are they happy tears or sad tears? Happy. You have every reason to be happy. The friendships and teamwork. I'm gonna miss you guys. You never know. On the adult version of MasterChef, the contestants can sometimes get feisty and develop a bit of an attitude. You want 15 of the same dishes up here? The members of MasterChef Junior Season 1 could teach adults not just about cooking magnificently, but also about how to have a good supportive attitude when participating in a competition. I can't mess up again at this point in the race because elimination's on the line and we have to stick together as a team. This new franchise of MasterChef taught us that we can still cheer for our competition. These children may have been in it to win it, yet they still managed to create friendships along the way. It'll be okay. We'll be, we'll be all right. Yeah. 
They even learned what it was like to be in a team and how to be a team player. Salt, pepper. I know. You want a lot of salt and a lot of pepper. You're the oldest. Chef. He's got the difficult job on his own. You've got the easy job on your own. Yes, Come chef. on. Yes, Step chef. up, will you? Yes, Get out of your comfort chef. zone. We'll These contestants not only brought home the rare opportunity given to them by this competition, but have brought with them friendship, teamwork, and life experiences that they will never, ever forget. Keep hold of those aprons, and we'll hopefully see you back here one day. Maybe in the adult master chef. <laughs> the first dessert challenge. I don't know how she knew that I suck at layered cakes. Maybe she just got lucky, but I'm pretty nervous. In every cooking competition, you would often bet that there would be a dessert challenge. Cream pies. Everyone loves We don't have to hear this again. Sarah chose a layer cake. It may be a dessert challenge, but not everyone had a sweet moment. The sugar, the butter, then the eggs and the flour. What, what way are you making it? Just did it back. Don't you worry, my darling. Let's start again. Motivated and ready to try again, Sophia was able to pick herself up and carry on with the competition. Even one of the top contenders, Alexander, found the challenge to be quite grueling. It's definitely undercooked. There's no doubt about that. As far as the structure goes, you can tell that you know what you're doing. Not everyone seemed to be unhappy about that. I really want to see Alexander go home. We've become great friends, but. He's tough competition. There were also cakes that the judges found to be absolutely amazing, both visually and taste-wise. Great use of that spice. It just accents the chocolate. The raspberry helps bring in some of that floral. Even with Gordon Ramsay's help, Sophia was sent home and Alexander got another chance to make things right. You can say that this moment was definitely bittersweet. Hey, well done. Well done, well done. Good girl. The whipped cream fiasco. Alexander is going to win the whipping cream contest. He's like the pastry king, so he probably makes whipped cream in his sleep. When in the top three of a challenge, you would not expect to go into another challenge. To determine which one of you that is, we are going to set you three a competition of your own. The challenge was to do a perfect whipped cream. We will test all the whipped creams, and whoever's cream stays in the bowl the longest is the winner. The top three challengers whipped that cream until one was done. How do you prove that your whipped cream could stand against gravity? Just pour it on the judges and find out. Oh. <laughs> Joe and Gordon? Well... <laughs> With all that whipped cream, he was still caught off guard. Sugar! 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 But hey, all is fair in love and whipped cream. Blue team, red team. Every customer in the dining room has no idea that these chefs tonight are between 9 and 13 years of age. In all competition shows, the contestants tend to have trouble when they reach a challenge where they have to work in a team. You're the oldest. Chef. He's got the difficult job on his own. You've got the easy job on your own. Yes, Come on. Chef. In this part of the competition, the little chefs were divided into two. Each team will serve one side of the dining room, and you will battle head to head in the kitchen of this fine restaurant, Drago Central. This challenge gave our home cooks a glimpse of the real world. A lot probably different in here than back there. <laughs> it was a lot of, give me, come on, come on, come on, come on. Of course, personalities clashed. It's very simple. I wrote it all down in the notebook. You should have okay. taken notes. Um, I'll tell you what to do, and you just do it. This also showed when the red team won the challenge. You may have had a slow start, but you certainly had a very strong finish. But hey, it was their first time being in that environment, and there was a lot of pressure, especially for kids their age. For 9 to 13-year-olds, that is pretty amazing. These guests agreed with us. The Bravery. Under there, you have some wonderful ingredients that all kids just love to eat. With the mystery box comes suspense. You never know what you're going to get. In this challenge, our little master chefs were in for quite a surprise. Not a pleasant one. Ew. 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 The ingredients were not for the faint of heart. Even in imagination, we cringe thinking about it. The most incredibly stinky blue cheese. That sounds so good, doesn't it? No. How these brave young cooks went through this challenge without a nose plug, we'll never know. The sardines had their heads on it, and they were, like, watching you. We can run their reactions all day with this challenge. In all honesty, their reactions matched ours perfectly. Oh, oh, it's so nasty. The contestants were still able to pull off some amazing dishes. You know what they say, if it scares you, cook it. Wait, 
I made sweet fried sardines with a cabbage Brussels sprout fennel salad. If this was not bravery, then we don't know what is. Our junior master chefs had outdone themselves yet again. Are you afraid of anything? Yes, sir. What are you afraid of? Clowns. Edible art. Edible art, that's what we want. Food has to taste good, but it's at a whole other level when it also manages to look good enough to be considered artistic. It is the most restauranty dish of all the dishes, I think. There are lots of examples of dishes throughout season one that could be considered edible art and worthy of serving it at any high-end restaurant. Sticky toffee pudding with candied fennel, a chantilly cream, and a fig lemon puree. He managed to make something attractive and tasty, despite not liking fennel, one of the main ingredients. <laughs> wow. He also succeeds with his edible art when working in a team. Together, Alexander and Troy manage to make a perfect beef wellington. This is a very technical dish. Trust me, one of the hardest to make in any of my restaurants. It's quite the challenge, but Troy and Alexander were able to present a beef wellington that looked beautiful from the inside out. Even though the young home chefs had never cooked in a restaurant setting, they knew how to plate their meals in a way that made sense and looked perfecto. If there was more of the caramel, I would have written like stupendously incredible <laughs> yumminess. The nerve-wracking finale. It's the culinary showdown that the whole of America is talking about. As the competition drew to a close, it became harder to say goodbye to the contestants and watch them leave. There can only be one winner. Just one of you can make history by becoming America's very first. Chef Junior. Week after week of witnessing the amazing chefs go home had left Dara and Alexander to battle it out with their families and past contestants watching and cheering them on. Both contestants have wowed all of us throughout the competition with their advanced skills. Dara, with a personality and talent as big as her playful bows, amazed the judges with decisions that show elevated taste for her culinary craft. I wanted to showcase the pokey because it has so many flavors in it, but I wanted to show more skill by doing the seared tuna. She was very clear-headed and confident, despite having a moment where she felt dizzy, which she handled with grace and maturity. I need my water. I feel like I'm gonna faint. Alexander, despite his talent and the competitive nature of the show, continued to show kindness and willingness to help others in moments of stress and desperation. You can use some of mine, Dara. Here, Dara, Dara. Dara. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry. We hope you liked the video. Were there any great moments of season one that we missed? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos covering seasons two to six. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that gray notification bell to join our notification squad.